This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be talking about Dragon Man here. We're going to do a deep dive into his abilities and check him out. He's the latest champion to enter the contest. So let's start with his attributes here. So he is at rank 3, SIG 200. That is... Uh, a decent place to have him. I think that a lot of people, if they do get him, would be able to easily get him to a rank 3 uh, SIG 200 level. So we'll look at him at this level, and then I will rank him all the way up, and we'll take a look at him there as well. All right, so the champion tags, first off, is a defensive tank. So don't expect great deals of damage. Traditionally, when you have a champion in the tank role they don't deal a lot of damage but colossus for example is one of the exceptions he's what i consider a true tank he can dish out the damage and can take the damage as well but we'll see how dragon man fares uh, he's also metal so food for magneto uh, he's a robot so i expect him to have the immunities of robots uh, he's hero and his size is extra large. So in uh, the earlier variants, uh, I believe it's variant two, I, I don't remember exactly, uh, they glance a lot unless you are extra large. If you bring in an extra large champion, you don't have to worry about it at all. All right, um, so he has some use there. Let's take a look at his attributes here. So first thing, critical rating looks pretty low. Uh, critical damage rating, uh, it also looks kind of low, but it's okay. Uh, no armor penetration, no block penetration, but he does have critical resistance. That is huge in helping him fill his role as a tank, because a lot of our damage, most of our damage, comes from our crits. So having critical resistance makes him far more tanky than most. His armor rating is fairly high. Now, uh, combined with the critical resistance and the block proficiency, he's probably going to tank pretty well. So in comparison, let's take a look at Captain America Infinity War. All right, so you can see that Captain America Infinity War has lower armor rating, but higher block proficiency. And also, Captain America Infinity War has that glancing mechanic, okay? Um, but how these two compare remains to be seen. We'll, we'll check them out. All right, let's take a look at the synergy bonuses. And what I like to do when I'm looking at this is not just what the synergy is, but who the synergy is with. How likely am I to bring this champion on my team? for that synergy. So first off the bat is Invisible Woman. I believe she is underrated. Uh, so she would be welcome on a team. Uh, now, while unstoppable and being attacked, Dragon Man reduces his opponent's offensive ability accuracy by 50%. Now, how useful that is remains to be seen. All right, but she's not a terrible champion to bring along. And in contrast to that, We've got El Diablo. I will not be bringing him on my team. But let's look at the synergy. Dragon Man Special 3 generates an additional stack of power charge. Now, from what I read earlier, that's actually pretty good. That's actually a pretty good uh, synergy. But you have to bring Diablo. Enough said. Next up, we've got Mr. Fantastic. Now, Mr. Fantastic is a great support champion the best in the game and he's not terrible to have on the team for his own fighting abilities but he is great because he makes other champions better and then to have a synergy with him on top of that is great so ineptitude and we'll talk about that a little bit later reduces the opponent's armor rating attack rating 
critical rating and critical damage rating by 10%. That can be very, very useful uh, in making him even tankier. It's reducing the amount of damage they can do on top of his already uh, damage mitigation um, mechanics here. So that can actually be pretty useful. Now, here's the one that I was interested in because it fits my play style with Tigra, who is also a very good champion, and I would not mind bringing her along. While the opponent is cornered, and I like to corner them, uh, their defensive combat power rate is reduced by 25% when struck by special attacks. And you're going to see that he has this mechanic that rewards you for keeping them in that corner. And if you ever watch my videos, you know that that is how I like to fight. I fight very aggressively, and I like to keep them in that corner. And the final one, they gain critical rating. No one there other than Elsa, Lugger, um, I would bring on my team. Now, uh, Punisher 2099 is due for a reworking, so this may change in the future. All right, let's take a look at his abilities. Now, his signature ability is interesting. When any non-science opponent has a particular buff, and you can see them listed there, he's going to gain an effect. And that effect is increased by 100% when he's fighting Cosmic Champions. So, for example, this first one, Regen. So, as long as he's not fighting a science champion... If they have a regen buff, it's going to be reduced by 35%. This means, for example, Wolverine. He's not a science champion. And so his regen will be reduced by 35%. Now, if you were fighting a cosmic champion that had a regen buff up, it's going to be reduced by 70% because it says it will increase it by 100%. That is my understanding. And that is true of all the other ones. Power gain, uh, it's going to reduce their power gain by 35%. Uh, if it's a cosmic, uh, like Hyperion, uh, it'll reduce it to 70%. Now, remember, this is at SIG 200, maxed out SIG. Uh, Fury, uh, he, they will gain, Dragon Man will gain an armor rating. Very nice. Armor up. If they have an armor up buff, he's going to gain attack rating. If they have a precision up, he's going to gain more critical resistance. So precision, if you remember, will increase their crit chance. But it's going to reduce the amount of damage that it can do. So that's going to make him even tankier. And cruelty, he's going to gain critical damage resistance. So basically those right there, he gains an opposite effect, something that helps him deal with the buff that they have active. All right. Now, his passive. His thick armor and advanced robotics grant full immunity to bleed, poison, and armor shatter. So he's already off the bat suicide friendly. All right. So I already like him. I knew he was a robot, so I knew that was going to be uh, the case. If under the effects of an armor break, now remember, he's armor shatter immune, but not armor break. So when he is under the effects of an armor break, he will release currents of mystical energy dealing degen damage every half second. And damage is increased by 100% against Cosmic Champions. Uh, his offensive com uh, combat power rate is reduced by 35%. Okay? Now, we were talking about that power charge buff. And one of the synergies on a special three, you gain a, a, an additional one. Uh, at the start of a fight, you're going to gain this power charge, which generates 12% of a bar of power every second. Now, it'll be removed when you're stunned. Uh, if zero power charges are active, meaning you got stunned and you didn't have one left, so they're all gone, it will create another one in 12 seconds. So you're going to have this 
buff unless they uh, continually nullify it. So that that's something to watch out for as well. Every 12 seconds, if you're going up against um, like buffet or something like that, uh, this could be an annoyance. When defending, this duration is reduced by four seconds. So he's going to be an annoying defender. When fighting science champions, upon receiving a non-damaging debuff, pause the cooldown duration for 35.35 seconds. Now here's the one that I wanted to get to because it fits my style so well. Uh, when the opponent's back is against the wall, while they are against that wall, they gain cornered, okay? Each hit deals physical damage, extra physical damage. It's increased by 0.35% for each ineptitude or unique buff on the opponent, up to 105%. So if you're cornering a champion that has a lot of buffs, you're going to be doing a lot of damage, okay? Uh, and we'll play around with that a little bit. Uh, opponent's defensive combat power rate is reduced by 70% while above two bars of power. So they will get their uh, two bars of power, but then you can wail on them. But you have to be careful because, of course, the AI likes to fire specials off in your face. But that's still pretty nice, okay? Especially if you fight aggressively, like I do. Uh, when you knock an opponent down, you will gain an unblockable buff for three seconds. Three seconds is an eternity if you have them cornered. I like it. Uh, duration is paused during special attacks. Man, that just looks like a load of fun. Uh, heavy attacks they will remove any incinerates that are on the opponent and, you know, deal a burst of damage. So basically, they do similar to Iceman. Uh, and I know not a lot of people may know that, but if you get a lot of those frostbite charges, you can detonate them with a heavy attack and deal some extra damage. That's what it looks like you can do here, but with incinerates. And if you have six or more of them, then you're going to do 50% more damage. So... If you can build up to six or more incinerates on the opponent and fire off a heavy, then you're going to be doing big boy damage. That's my understanding. Now, here are his special attacks. Uh, special attack one inflicts a slow. So now that's useful, but that slow only lasts for eight seconds. So that's not a long time for the slow. And... I don't think that even with his passive power gain, you can build up to a special one in eight seconds. But if you're really aggressive, you might be able to do that. But it seems a little impractical to me. Um, but if you don't know what a slow is, it tells you there. Um, it prevents unstoppable. It lowers the evade uh, and unstoppable ability accuracy by 100%. There's a reason that it's 100% and it doesn't just say that it prevents it because there are nodes that will increase it so they get more than 100% uh, chance to go unstoppable um, and evade. The first hit that contacts the opponent consumes one power charge. So this is how you can use up your power charges as well. Uh, not just getting stunned when you didn't have, you know, but then, then you had one power charge but if you had one power charge and you fire your special attack off, then you'll go down to zero as well. But you will inflict that ineptitude. Remember, we talked about that earlier. Uh, reducing the potency of new armor, armor up, precision, and cruelty buffs by 75% for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is a long time. Okay? Some fights don't last 30 seconds. Special attack two. All three hits inflict incinerate dealing energy damage over 25 seconds. So 25 seconds is a good duration because you can build up, if you're aggressive, you can build up to a special two in 25 seconds and get them with another special two, putting six incinerates uh, on your opponent and then hit him with a heavy, okay? Um, incinerate also reduces the opponent's block proficiency, so you're gonna be doing more damage and prevents the activation of perfect block. Again, more damage. 
consume one power charge to generate a fury buff, increasing attack rating. So again, this is another way that you can use up your power charges, but you gain a nice fury buff, okay? And that buff lasts for 30 seconds. Pretty good. And finally, special attack three will consume all stacks of the power charge, each contributing four seconds to an unstoppable buff. So you're about to go unstoppable. While active, this unstoppable instantly regenerates 85% of hit damage received from all attacks other than special threes. So you can fire your special three off and then sit there and get hit a little bit. Uh, to give you a contrast, um, Hulk Ragnarok, when he has uh, his buff active, he will regenerate 70% of the damage that he receives. Now, his is not limited, uh, it's any damage. So even if he takes a special three and survives, he will heal back up 70% of that. Uh, but here we have 85% and you don't wanna get hit with a special three still. All right, after this special attack ends, generate three stacks of power charge. Remember the uh, synergy will give you an additional stack. And you can see that those are currency for your other special attacks as well. All right. Um, additional stacks of power charge do not generate additional power. All right. So let's get into some gameplay. Let's take a look at him and see what we can do with him against Winter Soldier. All right. Let's go into Realm of Legends. Now, I have not used him at all. So I have no idea uh, what he looks like uh, in terms of uh, fighting with him. So let's see. And I'm gonna try and be as aggressive as I normally am. Get him in that corner. Seems pretty uh, tanky. Or he had a special two. Let's fire that off. Oh, lovely. Loving it, loving it. Okay, let's see a special one. Okay, that's the slow. Okay, and the slow is off. Just that fast. Remember I told you guys, I don't think it's very practical. All right, let's build up to a special uh, three. And you can see he has that cornered on him. So I am doing a little bit more damage. All right, see that special three. Woo. Okay, so I like him. He feels great to play. Lots of fun, love the animations. And I especially like fire, okay? So I'm loving, loving his uh, specials. All right, let's try that heavy. Okay, there's the unblockable. I tried to fire my special off just now and it wouldn't let me, but we're back at a special three. Um, I'm gonna try it again, um, but he got his special off. A lot of times the AI does that. Um, it almost feels like they cancel my special, but I think what it is is that they're just reacting faster than I can react. As soon as I let my finger off, they fire their special before I can do anything. Okay, let's do that. Woo! That's a nasty heavy. And then here's the unblockable. I was still unblockable, but he had a special. Remember what I told you guys when we were reading it? Uh, that's what will keep you from just chaining that. Because as soon as they have a special, they'll just launch it right in your face. Now, I did notice uh, something that uh, Cam uh, and some other people on the uh, uh, content creator uh, server was saying, um, but they're gonna fix it. When you have them in the corner like that, uh, 
it kind of obscures them. I don't know if you guys saw that. So it's hard for you to uh, see um, what they're doing. Now his damage is not all that great, but then again, he's a defensive tank type. So not surprised. Keep in mind, I am running suicide. So the damage you're seeing is inflated. Um, so yeah, he's not gonna be your biggest damage dealer, but he's fun to play. I'll tell you that, he's a lot of fun to play. And I don't even know whether I'm using his proper rotation or what. Um, but he is fun, he is fun. I don't know where I would use him, to be honest with you. All right, so let's, uh, let's do one more. Okay, there we go. And then let me do a heavy. Love that heavy, man. And then I'm unblockable. Yeah, see how the wing was uh, hiding him so I couldn't really see that he was firing off a special? Look at all that fire. See, like right here? You can't tell. The wing hides him. But they said they've seen it, and they will fix it. All right, that's going to kill me. All right, but yeah, he is he is fun. Um, like I said, I don't know where I would use him. All right, so let me rank him up to um, uh, 565, and then we'll come back in here. You'll be able to see his damage at uh, 565, and uh, then... We'll uh, leave it. I might make some more videos later with the uh, six star variant. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, we're back and he's maxed out. So let's take a look at his attributes here at uh, 565. You can take a look at his health. Let's take a look at his attributes here. It's 565. And let's head back in. That way you guys can compare uh, what he looks like at uh, rank 3 to uh, rank 5. Let's uh, get back in here. And this way you can compare the damage. Running suicides both times. All right. And let's see how he feels here. And uh, this will be only the second time that I'm using him. But I'll go through the same thing. We'll, we'll try to fire off each of his specials. Try to keep Winter Soldier in that corner. Okay. Get in there. Okay. Yeah. Hard to see him in the corner with his wing like that. But they, they can't fix it for release. Uh, but they will be fixing it. Okay, there's my special two. He's definitely tanky. Not a lot of block damage. Okay. Now we'll build up to a special three. So we can watch him flaming people. That is an awesome special three. Just look at that damage. I didn't take much damage at all. <clears throat> so one way to fight with him, I can already see, especially if you're using um, suicides, just keep cycling your special three. He he gets it pretty quickly, as you as you notice. So that's definitely one way you can play him. Um, his damage is respectable. It's not crazy, um, but it's respectable. Just look at this. I really didn't see my health bar change much at all. That was awesome. 
And I'm back to a special three again. Nasty. Now I'm gonna try firing a different special off. Look at this. Because I'm unstoppable, you know. Woo. I'm going to try something. Because we, we mentioned it before, but I didn't do it. I'm going to uh, fire the special... I'm going to let him get his uh, special two see how this works so remember he gets a 85 percent reduction while he's unstoppable and he's getting attacked so i'm just gonna let winter soldier hit me look at his health look at that look at this that is some sweet mess right there Fire another one off. See, that's a lot of fun, man. I don't know. I can see some use, maybe. But he is fun. See, so I'm unstoppable now. And I'm blockable for a little bit. See, look at this. I don't even care. I can just keep going. Just keep fighting him. That is fun. That is a lot of fun. Well. Oof, my thoughts. All right. Um, you saw how many hits and everything that uh, it took. Uh, what we're going to do. Give me a second. Let me pop this up. There we go. So Cam, who is a fellow content creator, uh, he created this right here that you're looking at and let's uh let me uh move this over here so i can read it all right so um he went through and this is his pros and cons for dragon man and i agree with all of this i had read it already i'm, I'm leaving it here for you guys to read uh cam likes dragon man and so do i um but you want to read over this. I don't want the video to be too much uh, longer, so you can pause this, read over the pros and the cons. You saw what his damage looked like. You saw what he could do. All right? So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.